Hello and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell. Today is April 1st, 2021. Tom, I've been speaking to a lot of people on webcast during the lockdowns and the theme has been there's a lot of confusion regarding which app to use to invest. Now, what do you need to know? Like what would investors need to know and what would you like to say to them? Well, first off, uh, too much information is in fact no information. It, it tends to be confusing. But let me back your question up a tiny bit. I, I function in a team environment. There are times in markets when I'm pretty good at what I do and there are times when I'm kind of lost in the weeds and that's when the team comes to play. I bounce ideas back and forth. That's extremely helpful to me and over more than a half a century it's borne very positive results. The problem with simple apps is that it doesn't filter out emotions. Emotions, attitudes, behaviors, <clears throat> and we're affected by many things, including newspaper articles. Last year, if you take it in its totality, it was an emotional market. Mm -hmm. It had very little to do with fundamentals or analysis or anything else. But a lot of people have taken that market from the low point to now, when it's almost straight up. And everybody looks smart in a bull market. Uh, it's when it turns sideways that everybody has a little bit of problem. So I would say the best app to use is your telephone. <laughs> you know, sit down or, or do it by Skype or whatever and talk to someone. Talk to an investment prof a pro, a real professional who's for you. And if you don't know if someone's for you, bring your wife with you. Women are far more intuitive in sizing up people whether they're really there to help or just move product. So I think that's very important. I work in a team. I would commend that's the first thing you start with. An app is good for do-it-yourselfers. And, and as I say, if I could be brilliant all the time by myself, I could save an awful lot of money on staff. But in actual fact, I'm not. And I don't think you are either. It's true. So markets are great <clears throat> educators in humility. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's just talk about the markets. Well, I, I think if you just look at this past week, a major hedge fund in the state just blew about $20 billion. Highly levered, really smart people. Uh, some years ago, there was a, a company called Long Term Capital. Nobel laureates ran it. They nearly destabilized the whole system when they failed. So, you know, the British have a wonderful phrase, too clever by half. And, and particularly in this bull market that we've experienced since the lows of March, everybody's now smart. And they take big leverage, big positions, because nobody's really experienced a serious, serious downdraft in market. So uh, the nice part about humility is if you don't seek it, stick around, it will be coming. And arrogance has a very big cost in the terms of stock market. So, you just have to pay attention to the fact. Don't confuse bull markets with being smart. Great words of wisdom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.